Next speaker, Ryan Sullivan, followed by Daniel Root. My name is Ron Sullivan. I'm a pastor at Grace Community Church in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you for giving me your ear. I want to ask you to consider two things related to the ordinance aimed at stopping sidewalk counselors and gospel preachers at the abortion facility. Number one, please do not make a judgment based on slander that has been, has been presented to you. And the picture that's been presented to you is something like this, that there's babies sleeping on the sidewalk and in the same sentence that it's so loud and violent. Now, I hope you see that these things contradict. These, this is a lie that has been presented to you. Councilman Stamps, Stamps helped us last week to see this contradiction. Pro-abortion activists presented us to you as monsters who hurt women. And yet, he looked out into the crowd just like you did, and what did you see? You saw level-headed, law-abiding men, women, and families, old and young, different ethnicities, different religious backgrounds. And so, Councilman Stamps asked that the police would be relieved from their duties. Also, hundreds of police calls have been presented to you as a reason that we should not be there. What was left out is that the vast, vast majority of those calls are coming from pro-abortion activists who constantly mock our police and try to weaponize them against us. If you pass this ordinance, you are enabling them to use our police for their own desires. And where will it stop? What will they constantly call about next? They have presented uh, women to you in a slandered form, speaking about women as if they are too weak and too fragile to receive or reject a leaflet from a Christian. This is wrong. Women are created in the image of God, and they are strong enough in these situations, and many of them have offered great thankfulness to all of us. Please make a decision not based on the lies of slander that have been presented to you. Number two, please protect my rights. Even if you disagree with my beliefs or my ministry, please protect my rights. What keeps me going out to that sidewalk? Two things. One, the Bible teaches abortion is murder, and the life of an innocent child is valuable. The life of the baby in the womb is not less value than the life of the baby outside of the womb, and they deserve protection. I'm there to speak up for them, and, to, and many of them have been saved. Two, there's a hope to be found in Jesus. Jesus Christ. The thing that I say the most out there is Romans 5, 8, that God shows his love toward us and that while we were sinners, Christ Jesus died for us. Think of it, that while we were sinners, Christ laid down his life for us. It's the main line that I speak up there. And I would ask you, please, not to allow my right to be taken away to speak those things. A friend a minute ago that's on the other side said that he stood for Occupy, this situation and one thing that's happening. But I'm telling you that we're out there for women every single day, individual women that are hurting and babies that are going to be murdered. And we're out there for them every single day. Not one issue, but people, person after person after person. Thank you so much for hearing me.